What's up everybody? Welcome back. This is the retake of my Anadrol video. So that's what we're talking about, Anadrol, also known as A-bombs, A50, the most effective anabolic steroid out there that is. By the way, looking around, this is being my kitchen. This is what built muscles, okay? Food, not drugs. But back to the topic. So Anavar was invented in the 50s for people with anemia that suffered from severe muscle wasting, catastrophic diseases. The late on branched out to, let's say, cancer patient, patients and patients with HIV and that sort of thing. So what is it? Well, the name is oxymethylone. It's a DHT derivative and it's 17AA alkylated. Okay, what does that mean? It means a couple of things. The fact that it's a DHT derivative means it does not aromatize. So technically, you would not have an estrogen rebound. You wouldn't need anything of in the, in the sense of letrozole or Norvodex. However, the estrogen activity is actually quite high, so it pays to have a Remedex or something like that on hand when using it. The other thing is, it is methylated, like any oral drug, so it can pass through your system and not be destroyed by the liver. That makes it liver toxic. So what are the side effects of anadrol? They are harsh. Okay, There is liver damage, there's irritability, there's appetite suppression, there can be difficulty to go to the bathroom as in urinating, there can be masculinization, uh, shutdown, loss of libido, acne, killer headaches. So what about the good sides? Does it work? It does. People put on about a pound a day during the first two to three weeks. So all right, right Screw the side effects, just use it. Well, I wouldn't recommend it. So, the way anadrol is used is always in combination with other drugs. For one reason, you cannot use it for very long. Like three to four weeks is the max. For people use it longer, but it's just not a good idea. And secondly, it has a very poor affinity of binding to the receptor cells, which means it leaves a lot of receptor cells open for other drugs. So you can run it with other drugs and get a synergistic effect out of it. Okay, so we're on for short term in the beginning of the cycle and that's that, right? I still don't like it because the weight you're gaining is not quality. It goes, it goes away quickly. Um, it's very watery weight. Um, you become very aggressive. And I think for bodybuilding, there are better ways to build mass. So if you're a strong man, or a linebacker in football, and I can see the point. But the issue is also psychological. So people, they use anadrol, they gain so much weight, they get off it, they get depressed, and then they go back on, and the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats. So the quote-unquote safe dosage seems to be 50 to 100 milligrams a day. Anything over has negative effects, even more than negative effects already has but then it would raise estrogen production, it would suppress your appetite, and it would make you insulin resistant. So you wouldn't handle food as qualitatively well as you could on a lower dose. Like I said, I don't think it's a, it's a drug that's necessary in bodybuilding. Um, if you have a disease, yeah, by all means use it. Other than that, I think there are better ways to go about it with less side effects to build more quality mass, as opposed to just, yo, I'm 260, but I look like a beached whale. My God.